Hello, this is the video that I recorded last night. It's taken me quite a while to edit it, but hopefully you'll still enjoy it. Hello and welcome to the 11th episode of How Not to Write a Novel. The main thing I've done today has been procrastination again, although I have had some legitimate distractions. For example, I ran into technical problems editing yesterday's video and therefore had to work on it again this morning before I could upload it. Um, and we went for quite a long walk again um, this afternoon, which is good for my general fitness, but not so good for getting a novel written. But I have got a few hundred words added to the story, um, building on the chapter I was writing yesterday. There's been a little philosophical debate when I left you last between Alex and an as yet unnamed shadow drinker. He seems to think he's the white knight saving people, but um, quietly glossing over the fact that he's actually consuming some kind of life force and the people he saves might end up dying because of it. This time I decided to include a bit of direct description to emphasise that it's not going to be a story where there can be a good drinker. Alex found herself tuning out his words. She didn't need that kind of self-justifying attitude. She could remember too well the image of an older woman dying alone in her bed, getting weaker every day while the doctors couldn't say why. She'd seemed so old and frail, but a few years before, when she'd first met the drinker, she'd probably been barely older than Alex was today. The insidious killer who'd satisfied his own hunger and never cared what happened to his victim after, or her family. Perhaps he didn't even know the impact of his feeding, but she couldn't forgive a killer just for that. Okay, that's badly worded and um, the grammar's a bit messed up. I do need to rewrite that, I realise, as I read it, read it back. It's always useful to read things back out loud because you notice mistakes that you wouldn't have if you're just glancing over your own words. I do think that's an important thing to learn. But in any case, we here it tells us that, contrary to what the drinker has just said, when they feed on someone's shadow, it does actually cause long-term harm. Possibly this drinker doesn't know that, possibly he does. And it also shows the reader that Alex got into this because someone she cared about has been hurt. I don't know if it's by this guy or by somebody else. Well, it wasn't by this guy um, because she's been a member of this group for a while, but we might not necessarily realise that yet. And then his hand went past her shoulder, close enough that Alex could have sworn he touched her clothes. Then she was on the ground rolling. He recovered quickly, never lost his balance, and he was opening his mouth to speak. But there was no time for words. The air was filled with drops of blood. A shot rang out, and the drinker staggered forward, clutching his shoulder. I'm not sure if there should be a comma there or not. Alex moved again, just in time to avoid the second shot. She was off balance now and in a bad position, but the drinker was bleeding, and his attention distracted trying to find a hidden gunman. I'm hoping that that's not too slow for an action scene. Um... So at this point, Alex dodges preemptively. The drinker attacks. Not, he's not quite sure what's going on. And then someone starts shooting at him. It's mostly the element of surprise here. And going ahead of what I've actually written a little bit, the extra gunman is going to be Julian, who's finally showed up. Um... He is a former soldier, he knows how to use a gun. While Alex's training is more in martial arts. 
her gift is helping, she appears to have some short term precognition. She can see things happening maybe half a second before they happen, which is why she can dodge the drinker's attack before he actually makes it. That's also why she was able to stand out of the way when he attacked the mugger. But I'm not sure how obvious that will be to the reader. What do you think? Um, if you get anything from those um, couple of paragraphs, if you think it's obvious or not obvious enough, please let me know. Um, down there in the description, there will be a link to this document on Google Docs where anybody can read it, anybody can comment in the margin, or you can come back to the, back to the video and see if you can answer my questions in the comments. Please let me know. Feedback is always helpful. And tomorrow I will try to get more writing done before I do this video. But um, given that it's nearly midnight already, I think I shall have to call this a night. Uh, maybe see if I can get in some video editing or more writing before bed. And if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel um, and please um, check out the previous videos if you haven't already or um, if you're catching up on the old ones you can check out the next video thank you